Newly transcribed chronicles describe extreme weather events that hit Bristol 400 years ago. Now, for those that don't know, Bristol is a city straddling the River Avon in the southwest of England. And yesterday, historians from the University of Bristol have discovered contemporary accounts of numerous weird weather events that happened in Bristol area around the turn of the 17th century, including devastating floods, massive snowfalls, and frosts that saw rivers frozen for months. The details come from a chronicle that was acquired by the British archives in 1932, but then declared as unfit for production due to its extremely fragile nature. Access to the manuscript was very limited, making it difficult to investigating its contents. Now, using digital photography, a team led by Dr. Evan Jones from the University of Bristol, Department of History, has now painstakingly transcribed the document, which is now named 09594-1. And here's the paper. I'll leave you links to all of this. The chronicle writing dates back to the early medieval and records events of a community that are relevant to it as a reference work for future readers. Early chronicles were mostly produced by religious communities, but as times went on, town clerks and private families kept them as well. Many of us today call them diaries. They recorded the most memorable events of a particular year, such as wars, rebellions, plagues and fires. Dr. Jones and his team concluded that this document was probably not begun until the late 17th century. It was then updated regularly until 1735 by different people, probably from the same family. It also includes details dating back as far as the 13th century, which would have been taken from older chronicles or manuscripts at the time. What drew the researchers particular attention amongst the more expected entries was a vivid series of descriptions of extreme weather and other weather-related events that occurred in the Bristol area from 1560 to 1620. Together with an environmental scientist from the University College of London, the Bristol researchers have written about what they discovered and the impact of its climatic deterioration on the city of Bristol in the Royal Meteorological Society Journal Weather. And that is the paper we'll be giving you. 400 years ago, England experienced some of the worst weather ever. In the depths of the Little Ice Age, which extended from 1300 to 1800, as you can see here, huge volcanic eruptions in the Americas pushed dust and gases high into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun. The related cooling phase that we are discussing is known as the Grindelwald fluctuation from 1560 to 1630. And it was a time of rapid glacial building in Europe. 1560 to 1630, glaciers rapidly formed. And there was flooding. The chronicle entries, seemingly written by a Jacobian weather enthusiast, describe how Bristol and its wider region was affected. Crop failures, famines, great freezes, floods, unseasonable blizzards, tempests, droughts, all features in the accounts of these strangely altered times. Some noteworthy examples include in 1596, a great famine in diverse places, and in the city of Bristol, all kinds of grain were very, very dear, so that the poor was in very great want. 1603. This year, upon the 4th of October, was the greatest snow that ever was known by the memory of man. 1607 to 1608. November the 20th, 1607, began to frost, which lasted till February 8th following at which time the river of Severn and Wye 
were so hard frozen that people did not pass on foot from side unto the other and played gambles and made fires to roast meat upon the ice. 1610, 1611. The winter proved very stormy in so much that it occasioned the greatest shipwrecks that ever was known in England. These are just a few of the chronicle entries, the severity of which can be corroborated from other sources, like the paintings we're showing you. Some of the events were even illustrated in news pamphlets, the popular press of the day. It was not just in Bristol that the weather was extreme. It was global. And even the freeze of 1607-08 led to the first frost fair upon the Thames in London. The storms and famines discussed in the Bristol Chronicle wrecked shipping and caused mass starvation worldwide. In Shakespeare's England, tempests were well known, and the strange alteration of times and seasons was recognized by the journalists of the day. As one 1613 news pamphlet reports, we have within these few years, as well within this our native country of England as in foreign nations, been most grievingly stricken by dry summers, parching heats and droughts to cause barrenness with scarcity, then the pummeling, the freezing, and the cold winters. Professor Anson McKay, one of the co-authors of the article from UCL, said the Little Ice Age was the coldest period since the start of the Holocene. That's 12,000 years. The cooling period from 1300 to 1800 was a time of global climatic change, but one that was very different to modern global warming because that's a hoax. Back then, volcanic eruptions and changes in the world's ocean circulation all played a role, like they will in the coming years. Today, increases in greenhouse gases are not the driving force behind global warming, but the driving force behind policy driving the destruction of our planet. We can discuss the great episode of the Great Flood of 1607, which was recorded in the Chronicle, this flood is currently being studied by Rose Hewlett, the article's third author, who notes that the height of the water can still be seen on flood markers in churches around Bristol. The Chronicle states that in Bristol itself, all the lower part were drowned about four or five foot, while the flood came so fast and high at Henbury that the waters continued a long time, a fathom deep, and that the people were obliged to abide on the streets two or three days. Mud flood much? What these colorful accounts suggest is that the Grindenwald fluctuation did not just make the world cold, but it disturbed global climate and led to more catastrophic weather events. Not just cold events, extreme heat, drought, and scarcity of food. And we should be learning a lesson from this account. And that's one of natural climate variability. And you can see here 900, 1100, 1300, 1500, 1700, 1900. These are all regular cooling events. And we're living the next major cycle. This is not conjecture. This is NASA's prediction for solar cycle 25, which we've just entered a year ago. And it's predicted to be the weakest solar cycle since 1800, during the Dalton minimum. And since we started the channel, we've been imploring you to prepare for what's coming. And we just read some of the accounts of things to come. History is not a mystery. In fact, history repeats itself, and we are now entering the modern eddy minimum, which, in my opinion, as a paleoclimatologist, could also be the kickoff of the next glacial cycle. 
What say you? Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance during the next ice age. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, and anyone that shares this video with like-minded people. Well, and with those that aren't as like-minded, just to piss them off. Be safe. We love you. Click on one of the other boxes for more knowledge. Let's a boom.